Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're gonna random. We're gonna random Maggie, and you know what? That's not so bad. It's like a nice leisurely way to start an Isaac run. But I doubt it'll end leisurely. I mean, I hope it'll end leisurely, but uh, we've been playing some seriously okay Isaac lately, and I, I always hesitate to be like, oh, check out how good at The Binding of Isaac I am. We've won, we beat the chest like four times in a row. Well, it, first off, it might not actually be four times in a row. Let's pop these open, see if we get anything worthwhile. Eh, we didn't really lose anything because we have the yum heart. But anyway, um, yeah, we've been playing really well. There's been some good stuff that's happened. A lot of it, is, it comes down to the luck of the draw, you know, what items you're going to get. Uh, but we've been making something out of nothing, on, a, on occasion at least. Uh, and I'm very thrilled with that. It's always nice when you end up on a good run of form. Uh, whether that's you or the game, doesn't bother me one little bit. Uh, it's just nice to be successful, and we're gonna try to continue that. We did a good Eve run, we did a good, uh, Isaac run, and now we're gonna try to fit in a good Maggie run. It would be awesome if I could actually, you know, beat the game as the entire cycle. You know, like, beat the game with every single character in succession. That's pretty unlikely, though. So, uh, on this room, I remember when we thought there was something, like, there's a hidden mode on this room. Like, if you have Book of Belial and you use it on the room that has the Book of Belial symbol, uh, in flames, then maybe you'll see something interesting, and maybe it'll open a portal to the end of the game or something. Nope, this is not Spelunky. It's the Binding of Isaac. I suppose there are Spelunky-ish elements, but, uh, just hoping there's, like, a single penny or something. Nope, just a waste of my time. Sadly, we have no keys. This is always the caveat when you're on XL floors. Uh, we can't get to the item rooms to improve ourselves until we actually get a key in the first place. Hopefully we get some on this floor, otherwise it is a total waste. Missing page appears to be showing up all the goddamn time. Um, sure, why not take it? I still don't really know what it does, but I didn't take it on the last episode, so let's take it on this episode and see if it makes a major splash when it comes to my, uh, success. That is, uh, well, that was fun. Thank you, Missing Page. It was very good while it lasted. We'll roll with the left hand instead because the, uh, the thing that has turned me around when it comes to the left hand, it was previously, I can't believe I got hit there, previously a trinket I didn't really like at all. And I would, uh, not even fight Ultra Pride when I had the chance. But then, you know, people started educating me and they're like, the, the left hand has the potential to spawn red chests, that's the direct effect. Uh, red chests have the potential to have items in them, including deal with, deals with the devil items. That was a really awkward way to phrase that sentence. Deals with the devil items. That was exactly what I said the last time. Dude, that I'm full of shit. Anyway, um, yeah, so the, it, there is a, a huge potential upside. The downside, of course, is that they can also contain spiders, troll bombs. They can also contain spirit hearts, though, or, you know, guardian flies. There is one key which we will be able to use. It's, it's, you know, it's kind of nice to not be playing as Isaac. I love Isaac. He's still my favorite character in the game by a wide margin. But there's always pressure on the reroll because it, it takes the ownership out of the game's hands and into your hands if you don't roll with an item. For example, if I was to uh, re-roll Spelunker's hat and get something shitty, that's on me, right? Whereas with Maggie, it's just like, well, you know, that's the... You gotta roll with the punches, that's what we've been given, let's try to make it work. Uh, Spelunker's hat, obviously far from my favorite item in the game, but, uh... You know, X-ray goggles a little bit better, but it will allow us to find secret rooms with relative ease. We might as well pop this, uh, fortune teller off as, as much as we can. Maybe we'll get some spirit hearts out of it, maybe we'll pick up, uh, some more keys, maybe we'll get a trinket, who knows. Maybe we'll get absolutely nothing but some vague platitudes. Uh, why don't we go down and left, and our boss room should be right around the corner here, which is, ah, well, now I wish I didn't even go to the secret room, because there's a tinted rock here. Thanks a lot, Spelunker's helmet. Spelunker's hat. I don't know, is this a helmet or a hat? Where do you think this qualifies on the, the spectrum? I think it's a helmet. It, it, it looks armored to me, and that's my definition of, of a helmet. Hopefully we find a key, uh, or a bomb, or both at some point, because, uh, you know, there's a, a, a second secret room which might have an eternal heart in it. This is the value of Spelunker's hat, obviously. It, it, the reason it's not my favorite item isn't because it's bad, it's because there's literally a better item that does exactly the same function, except it doesn't cost us a bomb every time we want to go to the secret room. So, um, that is the only thing that really holds me back from really liking Spelunker's helmet. Uh, and, you know, when you run out of bombs, Spelunker's helmet is kind of just like, oh, that's nice, that's where the secret room is, I guess. With our key, we will go down here into the item room, and uh, let me outline some non-usual choices that I would love to see in this item room to help us along here on this run. Pyro. Anything that gives us extra bombs, Pyro obviously being the best, but also homing bombs, poison bombs. The quarter is an interesting possibility here that is worthless for us unless we get more keys, but if we do get more keys, the quarter is basically like one and two-thirds items from the shop, so I'm okay with it. But. Uh, we're gonna need to get something to make it useful. It's obviously not my favorite item, but it could be worse. It could have been, you know, Lemon Mishap or something like that. It's an item we can get some use out of. This floor is almost over for us. I really hope we get another bomb or, um, you know, another several bombs or some more keys so we can go to that shop. 
Remember that tinted rocks can contain keys, so, you know, even a bomb would set us up here. Two bombs would be amazing, so I didn't have to choose between the secret room and the, uh, curse room. Uh, that's pills. Those pills could potentially give us <clears throat> something. I don't know why my voice is getting so weirdly phlegmy today. In any case, let's see what we got here. Pill one. Tears down. That's bad. Pill two. Bad trip. That's also pretty terrible. Uh, that was uh, not the ideal room, I would say. Certainly no bombs or keys came as a result of those. And I hate when you get tears downs on the first floor. You got no damage. And the game decides, you know what you would love? Even less damage. So we're going to take... Uh, 30 or 45 years here and we'll beat Larry Jr., uh, which normally is, of course, substantially faster than eons, but, uh, you know, sadly, we don't have that much control over ourselves here, so we'll uh, just let this happen, and the light at the end of the tunnel is we beat Larry Jr., we beat uh, our next boss, we don't take too much in the way of damage, and as a result, we end up uh, having the, oh my god, we have the possibility to pick up a uh, deal with the devil, and we've been really getting screwed on deals with the devil lately, you can tell my, my attitude's already getting... Substantially more negative than it usually is by this point. Uh, but that's because of that tears down pill pretty much exclusively. And the kind of dearth of resources that we've had so far. But uh, we will have a, um, a Yum Heart charge coming very soon. Maybe Yum Heart's a four heart. A four room item, not a three room item. And we'll take our speed upgrade and we'll fight our next boss. The speed upgrade obviously wasn't really what I was looking for. But the good news is, as Maggie, you don't really need um, HP upgrades at the start to facilitate good deals with the devil. You can just take whatever you get. Uh, and use your existing HP base as a kind of a springboard to improve yourself later on. So, uh, Duke of Flies, you know, this is a good metric for how badly I, uh, am in need of some extra damage at this point. We are doing very, very shittily, is that a, the proper use of that adjective, uh, against, um, Duke of Flies here, who is probably the easiest boss that we could possibly face at this point of the game, even easier than Pin. And he has, like, the lowest HP. If we had a bomb, we could have taken him out in, like, one bomb, plus half as many shots as we've already used. But in any case, um, we're really gonna try to stack up some damage. Not like we have too much control over it. Again, you know, the, the benefit of playing as Isaac is that uh, you can reroll, you can take some agency. So even though it, ta it gives us the responsibility of giving ourselves half-decent items, or at least possibly giving ourselves half-decent items, um, it's also nice to have the potential to reroll items that are not very good, which we do not have right now. So we're going to shoot some of this um, fi uh, poop in here, not fire. And uh, this should allow us to pick up Squeezy, which is not what I'm looking for. But hey, it's a tears upgrade. And I guess that is our uh, cue to leave the floor. We don't really have anything else for us here. Uh, I would say that is among the least good XL floors I've had in recent memory. We're on Catacombs Part 1 now. You'll forgive me, but I don't think we're necessarily strong enough to... Oh, my God. I don't think we're necessarily strong enough to deal with this uh, appropriately. And I'm hoping that we're not going to see this run end anytime soon. Oh, my God. But I'm so slow when it comes to killing these guys. It's actually just like a shot speed upgrade, I guess, that we've gotten here. Um, from the form of uh, Squeezy. I love Squeezy as an item, though. I thought it was also a, like a tiers upgrade in terms of the amount of shots fired. Uh, amount of hashtag shots fired, obviously. Okay, so first off, why don't you just try to g allow me access to this uh, spirit heart here. If I can get this guy to maybe shoot a few more times. You know what? I'll tell you what. You have one more shot at it. You know what? You fired so quickly, I'll give you another one. Actually, you seem to be firing very often, so um, please work with me here. There we go! Oh, he blew it up. God damn you! Something, something, Planet of the Apes, Charlton Heston, JPEG. We tried. Uh, another half heart. And, of course, there's no way for us to even get over there, because, of course, we do not have any uh, bombs or keys. Uh, this is not good for us, obviously. And, you know, we don't have, we don't have bombs, keys, or damage. The uh, more elegant way to put that, we don't have good damage or stats, except for HP. And we have no way to get better damage or stats, uh, except by way of boss rooms. So, hopefully, we'll pick up... Yeah, there's bombs and keys, so I'm just going to save our bomb just in case we end up needing this for something truly essential. For example, if it could trade a bomb for a key, that would be ideal right now. I am unfortunately going to go straight into battle against this boss because I really want to have the opportunity to earn a deal with the devil, if possible. One deal with the devil with like a mom's knife here could save us. I was really hoping we'd end up against Pestilence, actually, because Pestilence is probably the easiest boss we can fight at this point in the game. That being said, he's going to be substantially more difficult than most of the times that we fight Pestilence, simply because our damage is so low, and in particular, he's summoning all these GD Silkworms, which are basically functioning as a human shield 
or you know, a wormy shield, an analid shield, uh, making it very difficult for me to actually get some damage done to him. We're like 20% of the way done with his health, which is real bad so far. That being said, you know, he kills a lot of his own kind sometimes. Thank God we got that speed upgrade earlier, otherwise I'd be really hurting on this fight. Um, come up here, I suppose. Thank you very much. And pretty soon, this guy's gonna stop creating silkworms, and our life's gonna become a lot easier when it comes to doing damage. Oh, no! Don't cost me this deal with the devil. Holy shit, please. Work with me here, game. It's amazing how quickly confidence can erode when things start going terribly. But, you know, I think it's because last run, we ended up picking up, uh, odd, not odd mushroom, um... It was, it was skinny odd mushroom. We ended up picking skinny odd mushroom up right off the bat. Uh, so I had really, really good DPS, a huge rate of fire, uh, and it was fantastic, and I had a great time. And on this run, I have, like, the exact opposite. I have incredibly slow, not very damaging shots. We got very damaging shots on the last run as well as a result. Of, well, not very damaging, but Small Rock played a, a big part in that as well, uh, in improving our chances. So uh, we're going to really bank on this deal with the devil here. I wonder if you get a deal with the devil opportunity increase, or percentage chance increase, depending on the speed at which you beat the boss. Because if that's the case... We're not really uh, up to snuff here, are we? Stop creating these flies, these human shields! Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. Pestilence is dead. There's our deal with the devil. The cube of meat, very important. And brimstone. You're going to hate me? I'm going to take it. it. I have to. It's the only way out for me here. Now, you have my word that I will not brim snap, uh, but I am going to take brimstone and see if we can swing this because I really did not see another out for us there. Uh, that would be possible. Brimstone is a great item. I, I resent when people call Brimstone an automatic win, though. There seems to be this, you know, culture of hate surrounding Brimstone, which yeah, I understand. It's a very good item. But it's certainly far from a guaranteed win, especially when I have as little health as I do. The Brimstone shots are not doing crazy damage. And, uh, you know, I, I could easily find myself in a losing position, you know. Like, this is like 30 videos ago, but there was a video where people got super angry at me for taking Brimstone, and they're like, I stopped watching because Brimstones... You always win when you get Brimstone, and then, you know, later on in that run, I lost. So... Uh, obviously, that is not the case. So I hope you'll stick around. And we are still uh, very much on the lookout for another key. We have two bombs, which means both secret rooms are viable. Uh, I'm not psyched about the fact that we didn't really get... Uh, I actually like would have wanted a regular chest on this uh, mob trap room. I guess you can't always get what you want, though. And this is proof of concept of that. Or proof positive of that. Uh, if we get a key drop at the end, all is forgiven, of course. Will we? Oh, man, I'm actually kind of getting screwed here. I, I doubt it, but hey, there's another Spirit Heart for us. Okay, now it's time to make it work, I guess. Uh, there's no rooms that we can really bomb our way into. I can't justify going to the Curse Room because I have a Spirit Heart and we're low on health. Uh, so let's check out our special rooms and uh, see if these secret rooms end up paying out with anything of value at all. The second secret room I'm really looking forward to potentially getting an HP upgrade. So more money. One of these days, I'll get the keys necessary to make something beautiful happen there. And up on the right side, Eternal Heart. Please, God. Eternal Heart or 80 keys. I don't even think that's possible, but... Uh, Red Patch. We'll stick with the left hand, because at this point, I really need to bank on these Deal with the Devil items. I So far, I'm thinking this might be the run where we end up uh, breaking our streak here. And making nobody happy, because we're using Brimstone as well, but it's okay. One really excellent series of rooms where I can get a key would be amazing. Uh, so, we're gonna get a little riskier than I should here in the hopes of getting a, an HP upgrade. No such luck yet. We will uh, play the bejesus out of these two bad boys right here in the hopes of getting either a better... Uh, well, Fly Love is okay. Especially when it comes to um, Halo of Flies. Or, sorry, not Halo of Flies. Bomb Flies. Might be excellent for us. Judas Tongue seems more effective than um, the alternative here, which is, of course, um, Left Hand. So, I'll probably roll with that. Left hand has the potential to be good as well, but Judas Tongue could potentially uh, get us a flying item for the cost of one heart, which is nice. I don't know what... This thing can't pay out with keys, right? It's just trinkets and spirit hearts. We'll play till we get down to 30 cents, the two shops worth the value, and we'll get the heck out of here. No bombs still uh, to access that uh, secret room there. Pretty shitty. We are on the caves, though, which should mean slightly easier time of things than the catacombs, at least. And again, as you can see, Brimstone, sure, it's fine, uh, but without damage... It is a shell of its possible self, so we're certainly not in a one position right now. Do I sound like a man who thinks he's won the Binding of Isaac right now? We're going to continue going to all these rooms surrounding the uh, arcade, just so that we can possibly get uh, as many hearts as possible, and then, um, you know, that, that HP upgrade plays heavily into my strategy, mostly because it would really help me not die. Uh, Fly Love probably saved me from getting hit there. 
so. Oop, got out of the way there. So these enemies are no longer a threat at all. I can just let the orbital take them out. Penny that I can't really get to, much less use without any keys. And I should probably find a way to get myself back to full-ish health uh, so I can go to that mob trap room. But for now, uh, no such luck, so we'll continue making our way onwards. This is definitely going to be a run where we're going to have to uh, scrounge and save. And, and really scrape uh, our way to the top, because as of right now, I do not like our chances at all. There's probably a way to get in there without taking damage, but for one penny, it's not worth it in my opinion. Uh, we'll try this again, just walk in here. As long as we can knock the guy. I got hit by a fly there? I didn't even think that was possible. What we can do now is go up to this uh, mob trap room. I apologize for kind of the erratic way I'm making my way through this floor, and the erotic way I'm making my way through this floor um, with my pants off right now as I sit in my apartment at 3 p.m. on a Tuesday. Uh, we can make our way into this room now. It's not a golden chest, which is awesome. It is a pill that is bad trip, AKA full health. So we can actually get a few more plays on the blood bank this way, uh, which is my probable strategy here. Now we're not sunk on this run. I, I'm, I'm building it up to be more negative than it is because obviously I want to you know, keep the tension here. That being said, uh, with Brimstone, it's never over unless we don't get enough damage or I accidentally pick up chocolate milk or something. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're certainly not in a good position, but I've won worse games. It's just going to be uh, interesting to see if we can actually make this work for ourselves. So uh, I will play the Blood Bank as much as possible, use Bad Trip to get back to full health. I won't play it anymore after that for now, but possibly later. Oh my god, all this money and absolutely nothing to do with it. Okay, so that's full health. We are up to 40 cents that I can't do jack shit with. And, uh, of course, our secret room does not border uh, an item room or a boss room, so I can't get into those either. And, uh, you know, I, I don't even have the bombs necessary to pop open the secret rooms regardless. There's our item room. Useless for now, but maybe a, a bastion of uh, being our savior later. Uh, the worst damage, and actually, if we could hit one more time, that's, that's it for us. And it's gonna happen! Holy shit, that was the worst run of all time. I apologize for that. Uh, if you're gonna fall from grace, that's the right way to do it. Making thousands of people probably angry by taking Brimstone and dying in 17 minutes on the Caves Part 2. Well, you know, even Cobalt Streaks have to come to an end. As always, thanks for watching. I apologize for the episode length and uh, how badly it went down. Mostly my fault, although I will throw some ire in the game's direction as well. Hope this doesn't perturb you too much. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you next time.